that was really in focus and easy to read. <laughs> Stop. Wait for the stop sign to turn green. What do you mean air leak? Go over there, you can hear it. No. Clear, it clears the bell. Bubbles? No, I don't see bubbles, but I sure hear it. We are waiting for the fairy princess right now. She's tipped over, we're going under. What the crow's gonna do it for you? <laughs> it's time to go. Get onto the ship. I think that means just give her and hit the jump on the other side of the boat. I think this thing's gonna hold this heavy dodge, Sean. It might not. Don't get out. They don't want to let you out of here. Just throw up in my hands. <laughs> throw it out the window. Currently here on Highway 31. <laughs> Sled tracks on it. Sled tracks on her. Hopefully no one's coming the other way. Uh, another day on this iced up piece of sh See blue sky, fellas. Radio check, check, Corey, check. Oh, the sun is getting ready to come out for the day. Picked another wicked area. I'm getting all rigged up to take some snow to the face with the GoPro, which was recording in my bag for 30 minutes. So, 50% less battery. Ooh, look at that mountain. That's a big hill. That's just fog. I'll show you the mountain. Just waiting for a little more of this fog to burn off. And uh, we have a big mountain to go play on. Nice. This is good, eh? We were too scared to come around that ridge. We I don't even think here when we first started here. Yeah, we were back here like almost ten years ago, and we're already further back than we ever went. <laughs> Just in a few minutes. Just in a few minutes, because we were so green that we were afraid to go anywhere over here. We saw the big mountain. We got scared. <laughs> Nothing beats a day like this. I love being above the cloud. Ah, oh, that is cool. Woo! Another beautiful day. Live it up, boys, because tomorrow's going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sean's going to beat us to the top. Oh, that's not Sean. This is the thing that photos are made of. Bet you guys wish you were here riding this. Hey, Ben. Go thunderstruck your way to the top of that. Good. <laughs> You're not that good. Oh, yeah. Big mountain terrain here, eh? Oh, look at that cool looking snow machine, eh? Bent handlebars and all. All right. There you go, buddy. That's my boy. Good thing you weren't on your 153. Fuck it, they're bitter. <laughs> Don't drop it on you. Nice pull, boys. That was a fun little climb out of there, huh? I got out of your way, I'm sorry. <laughs> you a little bit, we were crossing paths trying to figure out who was going to go first. Uh, Mr. Chow went for a detour for getting out of your way. That's, <laughs> That's an electric that, snowmobile. That's an electric snowmobile going down the hill silently, huh? No sound. <laughs> That's what a take sounds like. Y-pipe pizza pops are going in. So, I'll show you guys the trick to this. You take off your side, oh no, you lose your lunch first. You take off your side panel, and you go digging for your lunch in the snow, you find it. 
Uh, and then you realize your sled is a little far too tipped over, but it'll work anyway. And you just grab her. A life hack, Articat. And you just set your pizza pops. You gotta make sure they're a little low in the middle. And you set your pizza pops right there on the Y pipe. And out. And um, you hope they don't end up in your clutches. <laughs> and then what you do is you ride for a little bit. And you take off your side panel again. You reach in there, make sure you burn yourself. That's like super important. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Give them a flip on the white pipe there. Make sure they're sitting in there all nice. You don't run her too hard and you have lunch. And you chase Sean some more. <laughs> and then you chase Sean. <laughs> and then when you're stopped for lunch, you open her up for the last time. And then, oh, and then you find it all the way down by your uh, exhaust can. Is it hot? Oh, yeah, it sure is. Not where it's supposed to be, but that's okay. Sometimes she ends up in the exhaust. No big deal. Sometimes you open her up and you get grill marks on her, which is perfect. Try you cook a meal without a muff pot. Yeah, this thing is wicked. Yep. Everything stays dry in here. Everything's not beat to crap. Easy to get at. Oh yes, and I, I actually thought these clips would ice up here, but they I haven't had an issue with them yet. That's what, day five, day five for me riding this year? Yep. So, and Ben too. Mm -hmm. His is the first time his dad is on though, I guess. So third day for that is. Solid. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Oh! It's cold! Grumpy! <laughs> Woo. I had a bunch of people asking me about this primary I have in here. Um, this is day three on it, and it has been nothing but great, uh, especially considering this is the fourth clutch to go in this machine. One blue in Alberta, one blue on Area 51, and then last winter at the end of the season, one blue on Griffin. So this one, uh, with the belt, my belt deflection is actually a little loose. And even with that loose belt deflection, it's engaging at around 3000 RPM. And it has been super smooth. So I did this in another video, but I'll do it again here. Because everybody knows the cats around this era. The, the primary clutch is, um, they're not great. They're not a performance clutch and they're a pretty rough clutch to deal with. So I'll fire it up again so you can see how smooth this one goes into gear. Now how about them apples? Because you don't see a cat do that ever. A lot of this era, they don't do that. No. But yeah, we got the CV. It's a Power Block 80. And I actually ordered it direct from manufacturer off eBay and it came calibrated. Now look at that spaceship. Uh, you guys have probably seen this thing, but you guys have probably seen that this thing. That looks like it's times. from the 80s. But not a lot of moving parts in it. And day three, it's been nothing but dependable. Perfectly compatible with your secondary. Hasn't blown any belts. I don't see any burn marks in it. And it probably has 80 clicks on it now or something like that, maybe 100. It's been great. I'm happy with it. So if you're looking to upgrade your 2012 to 2015 clutch. I think it actually fits on the older ones too. Um, I would definitely do a power block 80 on it because you can also you can get these for. Um, I think you can get them for Polaris too. I know you can get them for Dew, and it's pretty much the same clutch all the way around. It just depends on the calibration because you can, like I said, I bought it off eBay, uh, pre-calibrated, and their factory I think is in Quebec. There's a Canadian clutch. Is it um, kind of like the adjustable shims there? Yeah. Behind so, that nut, you got the yeah. same kind of shim style. Well, it's a little different. They're shim weights. Yeah. So I actually haven't been into it. Like I looked at the diagram. So I actually don't really know how that mechanism works. Yeah. But um, at the end of the season, we'll probably be opening it up just to see uh, how it's fared on the hill. But so far, it's been great. Especially because this thing eats clutches. You know, a lot of people saying they get like 3,000. Like, maybe for trail riding, oh, they get more than that. It's 
club with people with 6,000 on the clutch if they're trail riding, sure. Clutch isn't doing a lot of shifting. You're just cruising down the road. Got lots of airflow too. Yeah, it's, it stays really cool, but on uh, this machine, and I did a few things to the side panel to help it out too, and it's, I, I don't think heat was ever the problem. I think it just, on and off the throttle all the time, I think it just ate those clutches constantly. But yeah, if you're looking for an upgrade, this is definitely a great way to go. Money well spent. Yeah, money well spent. And now that uh, the weather's starting to blow in here a little bit, we're kind of, I think, kind of headed toward the bottom of the hill now, eh, boys? Get some more sun on these trees here behind you there. See the sun poking a little bit. Look at them nostrils, they're huge. Fresh sanding down Highway 31 here. How's our tire situation? Oh, we got tire. Still got air in it. I think it'll be fine. Ah, it'll probably be fine. Tire fund. <laughs> yeah, we need a tire fund now for the trailer. Because something's probably bent from someone overloading the piss out of it. That was a joint fucking business That's, that's true. We I both had, made lots of money. That's <laughs> true. I had something to do with it too. Uh, snow blur is going. Snow blowing off the dock. I like this place. It's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm packing up my light, and this is where I'll be. This is a nice place. I'd be here too. Yeah. Oh, snowmobiler is coming down from probably Hall, eh? Doesn't look whooped at all, eh? Just no, it looks metal. smooth. <laughs> And over here, we have snow machines coming out of Area 51. Get to see a lot from here, huh? Yeah. Hold on. Let me, uh, uh -huh. let me oh. turn. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there yeah. he is. Right. Go. Everybody gets off at once, and you guys work it out in the passing lane. Full speed, boys. I'm in the back seat of the pickup, editing today's video. We didn't film an outro. <laughs> and for that, I'm sorry.